That's why I smile, laugh, and motivate. Motivate. Born in the struggle, I like know what it takes. That's why I smile, laugh, and motivate. I kill them with unity Smile at the real But the ones that was haters Will never be granted immunity Work with the willing But who I kept slacking And sinking this shit And ain't new Yo, yo, yo What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Jess B And I mean Welcome to the Jess B Show Y'all already know what it is, man On the Jess B Show We gonna talk about self-love Unity And progression We gonna talk about Where you come from What you currently doing right now and then, uh, you know, what, what you got playing? Like, what, what's the progress in it? That's fair enough? Yeah, man. All right, it. man. Look, check this out. This brother is awesome. He showed up. He's been supportive. Um, I, I didn't know him from a, uh, 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 what they, what's the saying they say? I didn't know him from a can of paint. I ain't know him from the can, from a can of paint. But he showed up and he been supporting. He been tapped into our, our Instagram, our different social media platforms. And, um, he just tapped in and said, hey, man, I want to support even more. I want to come do an interview with you. I said, man, Mr. Understand Me, come holler at your boy then, man, and he here. How you feeling today, man? Oh, man, blessed by the best, as they say, man. You I know, know that's right. You can't say, hey, look, nowadays you can't just say, oh, man, one day at a time. Right. You got to say, I'm happy. Right. You know, you got to energize yourself. Yeah, no, that's a big fact. You yeah. know, that matters, man. Energy is everything. And if your energy low... Hey, you got to go. You got to go. I'm telling you. That was good. We did that. We, yeah. gonna, we might have to, have to do our own podcast. That <laughs> but that's going. super dope, man. So tell the people what you do a little bit, man. Like for oh, my man. audience, the audience that are, are they're not aware of you right now, mm -hmm. we got to let them know who you are, brother. Oh, man. I'm Mr. Understand Me, man. Um, I preach the organic guidance. I got a podcast called OG Cafe. Instagram, Mr. Understand Me, man. I preach the organic guidance to erase the ignorant mindset. We got to erase the ignorant mindset, and I preach the money-making mindset, which is a clothing brand that I got out called London Sky and Money Making Mindset. It's two different T-shirts, two different logos, and um, that's what I'm pushing. Um, I go to speaking events and talk to juvenile uh, youth and try to get them to erase the ignorant mindset. Right, right. I mean, the shit, hell yeah, we need that. You feel me? So, I mean, you do a lot. When? How long you been in Vegas, man? I've been in Vegas for almost two years now. Oh, that, oh, you, oh, you fresh? Yeah, I'm fresh, man. You, what, bro, what brought you to Vegas? Where you come from? Oh man, hey, look, uh, California. Everybody come from Cali. Yeah, Los Angeles, <laughs> man, finest, man. You understand? I me? love it. Hey, shout out to L.A. because the, the West Coast is up like a motherfucker right now. Oh, man, you know, <laughs> Kendrick Lamar, that's all I'm going to say. Yeah, shout out Kendrick to him, man. Kendrick Lamar, you know, he doing unity, man. That's all we need. Big dog shit, man. But, yeah, what brought you out here, man? What, what made you come over here oh, across them state lines? Hey, the mission. Yeah. The mission. The mission. When you're on a mission and it says go this way and get out of the mm -hmm. same circumstances or the same, uh, you, are, you already didn't achieve most of the things in this part of the land right it's time to move forward right so that's what you tend to do yeah. you know what i'm saying you find out if it's, it's a different lane out there it's more of what you need and vegas is event capital man yeah it got events every day every day seven days a week seven days a week anytime. eight days a week yeah eight, it's up feel me <laughs> yeah it go crazy out here and if you want to get your brand out right i think this is where you want to start yeah i, I think so too man especially if y'all come to under the hood studios we don't get you right <laughs> Period. Yeah. But so when you came here, was the how was the transition for you from like LA to Vegas? Is it is it much difference? Yeah, because you don't have to worry about where you're going. I, I tend to see that, hey, uh them is some grimy mother effers over there. Mm -hmm. And um I'm gonna stay from way over there. So right. this must be somebody little hood or something right. like that. But it ain't as bad as where you came from, where I came from. Yeah. I didn't seen worse, so I say, oh, I know how to maneuver now. Mm -hmm. uh, stay out the way. Yeah. Simple. Big facts. Simple and plain. Yeah. That, that's all you got to do, stay out the way. Right. Yeah. You, now, a lot of the times they say that L.A.'s hoods and, and, and stuff like that is worse than ours. I say, A, hey, it may be or it may not be. Mm -hmm. Regardless, the same type of people live there. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's a fact. That is a fact. You know, I, I don't care where you raise that. It's always somebody that'll whoop your ASS. Right. Off the rack. Yeah, bump don't, your head. They, I don't care where you, I don't care which. Oh, I was raised in the ghetto of Watts. <laughs> and yeah. I got my ass whipped and I've been whipping ass all my life. Yeah, okay. There's well, another one of them somewhere that's else. That's going to whoop your ass. <laughs> <laughs> they even got them yeah, in the suburbs. Yeah, yeah, and, 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 yeah, and the suburbs. Hey, because life be life and life is just 
we all live. Yeah, and, and see, I didn't have a nice time in the suburbs. You know, yeah. I didn't live years in the suburbs, so I know the difference. Mm -hmm. I know the difference of an army man raising his child to as a boxer to defend himself, whooping right. on a straight street gangster that was raised by his mama. Right. You know, and embarrassing him. Mm -hmm. I didn't see that with my own eyes. So that right there is like, you know, always respect all men. Right. You know. Now, you say you like to reach out to the adolescents, the young, the, our youth, our younger generation. What's one of the things that you always like? What's the, the most kind of feedback you get from them? Like, cause is it really easy? Hell no. Nah. They be uh, hard to get to, huh? Uh, uh, nah, the ones that want it, reach out. Yeah. And the ones, see, see, you got to read your, you got to look at your algorithm, man. Mm -hmm. Your algorithm tell you, man, is they watch you. How many times did they click in again? Right. You know what I'm saying? So once you understand that and you say, oh, well, I didn't reach out to two, three hundred people within 10, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And um, out of them two, three hundred people, 200 of them reclicked my video and wanted to listen again. Right. That tells you that. I wanted to hear that again. Mm -hmm. You don't have to always press a like to under to to get the likes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So the ones that comment is just the ones that's brave enough to say I can be. Yeah, the, can the be extroverts. Myself. Yeah, yeah, they I can with be it. myself. I don't have to worry about what everybody else is saying. Yeah, you know, because I feel you know, and and I get that, bro. You know, because social media has made it so easy to secretly get help, secretly vent. <laughs> you you know which in in a, in all essence it just means your emotional intelligence is lacking. Mm -hmm. yeah, but yeah. social media makes it easy to be to have a mask on all day. Hey, and, and, and this uh, you just hit a uh, uh, you know you just hit a point. A point is that social media can help you heal. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people go on YouTube and say I can get a, I can heal from YouTube, and, mm -hmm. and they really hurt. And really need to go to a real therapist and yeah. talk to them seven days a week, yeah. <laughs> you know, because there's some you know ignorant mindsets, there's some messed up mindsets out there that's around the wrong people, and they're not growing. Right. So you got to understand when you're around a little bit of nobody that don't have no motivation, mm -hmm. you can't grow. Right. It's just like water. Water helps everything it touches grow. Everything. As far as the earth, y'all know what I'm mm -hmm. talking about. Grass, water, dirt, yep. right? It helps it grow. So motivation is what helps you grow. You got to have the motivation around you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's the main key that is going to get you by in whatever you're trying to do, man. Yeah, man. I definitely feel that, man. So how, how often are you doing events locally? Um, I'm trying to do an event probably next month, July. Okay. And, and out right here at the Palms, you know okay. what I'm saying? That's my goal right now and putting that event out because I got, I'm got i reconstructing my books and putting my books back out because the Wait, first— you can't just skip past that part. Books? You got yeah. books too? Yeah, I got Look, books. Tell me about the books real quick. <laughs> oh, man, I got books. I got two, <laughs> I got two, two e-books nice. called— one called The uh, Situation That Ruins a Reputation, mm. right? And then I got one called The Dark to the Light. You know, the dark to the light book is about a, a person that was drug dealing, mm -hmm. you know, had multiple baby mamas, had multiple side bitches, mm -hmm. you know, had multiple side pieces. Yeah. And Mr. just be show be yourself. Yeah. 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 <laughs> had, multiple, had multiple side pieces. And, you know, as he's slanging, you know, he's dealing with multiple different mindsets of women. Women that are cheating on him, mm. women that are one just want to be around him. One woman just want the money from him. Right. One mo woman just want the baby from him. You mm. know what I'm saying, me? And everybody had their own goals. And when you're in the dark, that means you're moving about around life, not knowing what's really going on, without seeing what everybody's doing because you're so focused on what you're doing. Mm. You tend to be in the dark about the situation. Yeah. And then that situation can help you ruin your reputation. Yeah. No, nah, yeah, that's true, though. For real. You know, like, because, I, bro, I be laser focused. Yeah, you got to be. You know, you and, got to and be. true. Um, one thing that I was just talking to my team with, I said, dang, I'm so laser focused that sometimes I really don't see the outside world. Mm. I really don't. If you're not a client or we're doing some type of business together, it's hard for me to even know that you're there, bro. Because yeah. I'm tunnel vision, like, zoned in every day. Mm. I'm obsessed with this, right? Mm -hmm. Um. But it bothered me, though, because I was like, damn, I really ain't got friends outside of business. Hey, 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 look, but it's okay. Eagles don't got no friends outside of business neither. Yeah, yeah. And you was an eagle. Yeah. You understand me? I this said, is what this is what takes an eagle. An eagle got to do this himself. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this is an accomplishment for you. You need to 
pat yourself on the back every day when you walk in because some people can't put up nothing. Some people can't put a plug in the wall. Some people can't put up a computer on their desk. They can do it, but they mm-hmm. don't want to, but they talking about he over there ain't doing nothing. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And it asks you for some money. Yeah. And it asks you for some free time. Mm-hmm. You know, you really got to just love yourself and say, shit, I did this. Right. I don't care what it, I did this. Yeah. And it's beautiful. Yeah. Hey, and shout out to the whole UTH team. You know what I mean? I love all y'all. I, I'm, I'm not even going to say, you know how I am when people be like, I couldn't have did this without you. No, I could have. Yeah. But I chose to do it with a team and I respect all of y'all. So thank you hey. for being here and building this with me. Hey, man, look, I watched a YouTube story of my OG homie said he couldn't start the hood without a team. Mm-hmm. He said, man, I don't care who you are. Mm-hmm. You can't start no game by yourself. One man can't just beat up yeah. on everybody and say it's just going on like that. Right. No. Mm-hmm. The neighborhood going to beat you up. Right. It's a team effort. Yep. And it's okay. You know what I'm saying? You can't do things by yourself. It's okay to say you self-made because probably inside you is self-made. Yeah. You self-made niggas, brothers to come together. Yeah. And look, nigga, let's make this shit happen. Make this shit happen. <laughs> yeah and it was a beautiful thing man and under hood it's, it's really amazing it's, it's really a, a great community of just a multitude of talented people bro i love it man again shout out to everybody on the team big uth you know what it is man so it, it sounds like you got a lot going on especially bro i'm into motivation and mental health and things like that as well and i know how much energy it takes out of me to be this person for the people that need us the most right Ooh. um but self love is is key to everything, in my personal opinion, and it should be that in everybody's personal opinion. But what are some things that you do to make sure that you're taking care of self? I mean, you got to ask yourself, what do I agree with? Uh, what do I like to do? Mm-hmm. Um, where do I see myself at in five to ten years? Yeah. So I can stay away from certain things. You know, uh, you got to you got to really self check yourself. Mm-hmm. And um, start answering, talking to yourself and ask yourself certain questions. Do you feel good with her? Do you feel good with him? Do you feel good uh, going outside when it's too damn hot? No. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you got, <laughs> right. to, you, you, you got to say, ah, yeah, I'm cool, man. I'm, you got to start making decisions for yourself no matter what somebody else is talking about. And that's called, you know, setting that boundary so you won't feel no hurt from the next person mm-hmm. by Feel, you know, putting them off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's the main thing that you, people need to, you know, check yourself. Yeah. Check yourself. Self check, man. Hell yeah, I agree, man. Well, I'm, I'm glad that you are doing that, you know, self checks and things like that. Because again, that's super important. And man, I found self love when I was like, shit, I don't know, 33, something like that. Hey, man, it's You t- know what it, I mean? Look, it took a while, look, but when I found man, it. Hey, look, man, I just found it, man. I what you talking about, it. man? Yeah, but you got it. <laughs> Yeah, that's the all thing the matter. Is, man, it take years, man. It, de- it definitely do, look, man. Look, 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 man. Do not, uh, people out there, in this world right now, do not think that your mind is gonna wake up just like this. Experiences have to be, you have to go through these experiences of life. You know what I'm saying? You have to feel it for yourself. You, mama and daddy can always tell you no, don't do it, and you still gonna go do it. And then once you feel with that burn, how that burn feel, and the healing of it, and mm-hmm. how it looks, and and the, and the bandages that you got to ye- uh, put on your body, then you are gonna say, I don't want that no more. Right. Know what I'm saying? So the main thing about everything you should be doing is about thinking about, like, man, is this? How does this affect my future? Right. How do I get to the next level? You know, without somebody deter me you know mm-hmm. you gotta man you gotta put yourself like on a um on a uh put your mind set on going up a mountain mm-hmm. and you seeing people uh on the side asking you for the bottles of water that they gave you to wa- get up to that mountain right and people ask oh please let me get some water <laughs> don't do me like this said, let me get some water <laughs> don't do me like this and and and, 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 and you know and that same person is the one that decided to stop going up that mission to the top of the mountain, mm-hmm. but they want some of your water. Right. That's that's what that's the day and age we living in right now. Yeah. People want some of your water without, you know, 
want to use it to get to the next level. Yeah, and can you at least refill it? Yeah. If you drink some, yeah, nah, player? He, he, man, he's he gonna, he gonna, he gonna, he gonna do this and say, come Splash. over here, and, and then say, come over here and sit with me. Look, come over here and sit with me. Don't go up that mountain. Right. And it's 10 other brothers to listen to him, too. Yeah. Yeah, man. Too don't, hot, don't, you don't don't, die. Yeah, don't let them randoms hold you back. You man. know, y'all got to be very, very, very aware of yeah. the snakes in the grass. Man. <laughs> you got to cut the grass, man. Yeah, you got to cut the grass. You got to learn how to float something. Yeah. Something got to happen. If you can float, man, you know, you swaggy, you good. You straight up, man. So, man, unity. You know, I'm always talking about unity. Under, you know, UNDR, united, not divided, respectfully. We're super big on unity. And I just love when I see other, not even only other brothers, just other businesses, entrepreneurs, mm. creators, influencers, artists. You know what I mean? When they come together to do some amazing shit, like the Kendrick shit, right? Mm. That's amazing to me. I love that. But how important is it? Like, give me your definition of how important unity is in life uh look just imagine when you in them streets and um you ripping and running selling dope and you feeding you, your people you know you helping out people you're paying for birthday parties you know what I'm saying you didn't put some money on funerals you didn't put some money on people jail uh um books and while they was in jail and then now it's your turn and you go to jail mm -hmm. right and the community comes together and say, man, that was a good dude, man. We got to help him out. We got to, because he did, even though he was selling drugs, he was still a good dude. Right. And, and, and that help that he, he gave out to one girl's mother prom for the prom mm -hmm. uh, or the daughter's uh, birthday party when they didn't have no money. Right. You know, he threw the part, he threw the birthday, uh, a bash for the whole block. Right. You know, got some food stamps and, and, and did it big for the little girl. Them type of things, it's called unity, believe it or not. Yeah. You know, it's what you got to help the people around because you slanging dope all up and down the street. But you can't help the little girl have a birthday party. Right. You know what I'm saying, me? Because her mama broke. And, right. You know, see, I'm you done drugged up. Yeah. <laughs> you feel That's me? That's cold. Yeah. So, cold so, so unity goes deeper to me because it has to be uh, uh, a man there or a woman there to say, hey, it starts out with that leader mentality, right. that mindset. Hey, you know, just speaks, just, you know, they kicked in the dough at the spot and, right. and man, everything all bad. Right. What we gonna do? <laughs> and you call around. Dad, what? Oh, man, I didn't hear. Why y'all didn't tell me? You yeah. know, I, oh, man, I ain't no Instagram dude. You gotta call me. Right. Right. And once you start, once that one leader step up, when you go down, man, it's automatically a unity thing that that, that phone call starts making. Everybody pulls up in front of the studio. Five ten thick man, yeah. and everybody said, "Oh, I got this. We got to get him out." Mm -hmm. This some this some BS. Yeah, because he's too good to us. Yeah. See, that's how when you give to the people, it comes back to you, and that's when the unity, you know, you start to see that unity yeah. form. A lot of people don't even know when they had unity because they always talking about unity. But sometimes when the funerals and certain people die, they uni they get they unify. See, mm -hmm. but they just don't know. Right. Because we so hard headed and we ah, Yeah. You know how we do. Yeah, man, you know. It's crazy. <laughs> you know how we do it. It's really, really crazy, man. All right, man. So uh, let me ask you this, bro. Um before we get to these last few questions, um, first of all, I wanna just let you know, man to man, entrepreneur to entrepreneur, uh, motivational speaker to motivational speaker, bro. I'm super proud of you. And I'm Thank super you. happy that you showed up. Thank and you. uh even tapped in with me at all. You didn't have to. And then I just found out today that your connection to me was hearing us on the radio last year. Yeah. And that's, I didn't yeah. know nobody from that. Her, you know what man. I mean? 88 one, man. Yeah, you know man. Shout out to 88.1 um, and everybody that made that possible. That was super cool, man. But um, what's what's the hardest thing do you that you have to deal with as a man? Like, uh, I love to encourage the brothers out there. Uh, 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 the hardest thing. I I deal with as a man is you know really having a good relationship with my own kids, you know. Okay. Yeah, man. A per a real man wants that love and it's transparency, know. man. Yeah, real I like that. Yeah, a real a real man wants his kids. You know, you want yeah. you, you want to see your kids. You want to you know, hey, boy, you ain't boy, shit, man, God damn it, I told you, boy, right. get, your, get <laughs> right. over here. You gotta come on, I love you. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, and you know because I had I had. 
I had did some time at, you know, I was I was gone out of my kids' life for a while. Mm-hmm. And, you know, when certain baby mamas want to go left and right, you know, they're going to live their life. You can't stop them. That's 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 life. Right. But when when they the kids don't see or contact you as much, they get a feel for somebody else. And if you don't catch your kids at the right age, mm-hmm. because this age and this era that we in, the kids are social media bugs, and they're, if it ain't, if it ain't popping, right, and I ain't got time for you, right. Or if you ain't living in my house and taking me to school every day, I ain't really got time for you. You can send me some money though, right. So mm-hmm. that's what you would get out of your kids now. <laughs> you, you can know. send me some money though. <laughs> That'd yeah, be the truth. Yeah, 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 you can send me some money though. And and that's one thing about you know the era right now of how I feel. Was, that's the only thing about me as a man is just man, bring the kids, man. Bring, come right. on, man. Come on, man. Stop acting like that. Right. You know, daddy got a little something to spend on you. You know what I'm saying, me? But, but, just, <laughs> but just come hang with me. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just come hang with me. That's all. Yeah. yeah. Hey, man, thanks for being transparent like that. And fellas that's out there, man, if, if hey, I got a guy that can help you out with anything when it comes to your kids, um, no matter what it is. My buddy Frank Friends, he's super dope. And if there's ever a situation where the baby mama or the mother of the, your kids is giving you pushback or, you know, just anything, man. Reach out to us. Frank will help you. I swear to God he would. Or Baby just a, mama drama. Yeah, or just a good man to talk to about stuff like that. Yeah. he he, Because he just got that knowledge because he's been through it. Yeah, and you me too. I mean? I'm not yeah. going to say a lot. <laughs> me too. You know, I, I can I can spit game about that all the time. Mm-hmm. And, and, and the reason why I call it game because we all, you know, my brother told me one time, uh, when we was walking around, I was about 11, 12, 13 years old. Mm-hmm. And we was all talking that kid and play talk. Oh, man, we going to go in and get these girls, man. I got game. And my brother right, said, well, right. what's game? I said, man, I got game. He said, well, what's game? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So my brother, I, he said, man, look, man, look, man. Ain't no such thing as game, man. It's, it's just speaking to a person. Yeah. Telling the person how to, you know, you know, make them feel good so they can feel good with you so you, you can do what they do. Yeah. You know? That's that's that, that that's game, right? You know, if that's what you want to call it, right? Right. So let's just put everything in perspective nowadays. Of the game, mm-hmm. it's it's the knowledge, man, that we give each other, man, and we got to stay focused with each other, man, to right. keep that game moving. Yeah, yeah. Real talk. I definitely agree with that, brother. So. What's your end goal with this, brother? Let's let's talk about the progression, man. You, oh, man it got to be going somewhere. I'm I, trying to. I want all the tell kids. Me. I want all the kids, man. 11, 12, 13 years old, man, not to join no gangs. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, me? Because that's the strong point of the age or where you like school. Do I want to stay in school? If if I ain't in sports, because everybody knows sports. You know, I wasn't that big. I was in sports. I love sports. I played sports for to as long as I could. You right. understand me until the to the marijuana kicked in, and that's by choosing the wrong friends. Mm-hmm. See, the main trick about what I'm trying to do is try to let the youth know this. It's gonna be one person out there that's gonna take that's gonna be standing outside your apartment building on the corner of your house or across the street neighbor. Somebody, one of your older friends, two, three years older than you, they're going to ask you, let's go to the liquor store. Mm-hmm. And you're going to be like, all right, for sure. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I know y'all, y'all both in handcuffs talking about he stole something. Mm-hmm. You know, you need to know that you got sometimes you got to ask your friends, your older friends that would manipulate you. Right. Hey, man, do you got some money to buy what you about to, what we about right. to go to the store for? <laughs> you know? Let me know. <laughs> Let you know. Because then that starts to, that starts the juvenile record. That starts to, you know, the, yeah. the, 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 the the mama, why, boy, for you doing this? I don't right. trust you no more. And, right. Oh man, it causes drama through the family. You get into you get into the system. Now the system wants to you know pimp you on probation, and now you don't you you know you get depressed because sometimes young men get depressed. Mm-hmm. You know they don't know what the hell going on with mama and daddy. Man, mama and daddy in the house, man, tripping, man. Yeah. Now daddy didn't go and and daddy didn't left the weed and he used to smoke weed. Now he want to smoke some weed. Yeah. You know, and because ain't no control no more. I can see you being major. You know what I mean? Um, and we're going to have some more conversation after we get off of this show because I probably got a pretty special opportunity for you, bro. Yeah. Um, you know, I walk into them rooms, bro. It's, it's, what, the best they can do, what, what, the worst they can say is no. No. That, that's it. You know what I mean? That's the worst it. they can say is no. So I'm, I'm testing them waters yeah. in any room. And I believe, man, when you're walking with the man, 
you know, when you walk with, with man is always walking with yeah. us wherever we go, man. Yeah, facts. That's, that's what relaxed my life, man. Mm-hmm. Is when I knew my mama told me, she said, relax. Right. The man going to go wherever you go. Mm-hmm. If you go to jail, he going to go with you. You just got to relax and know that he with you. Mm-hmm. And that's what a lot of us just don't understand. You just be relaxed and just calm. That's mm-hmm. why our blood pressures are all high. Right. You know? Stressed out. Yeah, because we, 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 we look, man, we all got to go. Yeah. We don't know when. Right. We don't know where. Mm-hmm. But we all got to go. Hell yeah. You ain't never lie, man. You yeah. ain't never lie. Yeah. Now let me ask you this, man. Um, I, Yeah, it's, it's more of a favor, right? Before we end each episode of the Jess B show or any show I'm on, right? I'll be taking people's souls over because I got to say this. Because I, it's just a requirement in my world, right? Um, we got to motivate the people. You feel me? Um, if you have one piece of advice to give to shit the world, <laughs> um, what would that piece of advice be, bro? That'd be very simple. Talk to me. Handle your business. Right? Let me say this again. Mm-hmm. Handle your business. Mind your business. Mm-hmm. So you won't be nobody else's business. Ooh. Handle Plain your is, business. Mind your business. So you won't be nobody else's business. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. I like that. Yeah. I can use that. Yeah, of course. Hell yeah, man. Now, before we jump off of here, man, uh, let these people know where they can find you, bro. Oh, man. OG Cafe YouTube. OG Cafe TV on YouTube. Go once again. OG Cafe YouTube. I mean, OG Cafe TV on YouTube. And Mr. Understand Me, man, at uh, on Instagram, Organic Guidance, and um, Ronald McFoy Facebook, man. Y'all holla at your boy, man. Um, hey, look. We can change, but we got to start with within. Celebrate you before you celebrate them. I like that, man. And thanks again for coming on again, man. We're going to have to tap in. We're going to have some more conversation after this episode ends. And y'all already know the pieces of advice I got to give y'all. It's a few of them, but you need them all. You feel me? I need you to smile, laugh, and definitely motivate. And then I need you to inspire one to inspire more, right? And then I need you to just be the best version of your goddamn self. That's number one. Learn how to just be you and be comfortable in it. And then show others. We need that. Stop trying to duplicate other people. We are all uniquely. Our impressions, what to say? Our imprints cannot be duplicated. These are unique to us. You feel me? And don't ever forget that. And we good under the hood, baby. And we out. That part.